We wanted to give you all a big thank you. You guys worked tirelessly to teach us and then worked even harder after we were put into lockdown due to COVID-19. Much of Choices has changed in our short time of being here. We have gone through seven different websites for homework and our class has the guinea pigs for all of them. We were able to welcome Mr. Odo as our new principal. We gained some amazing new teachers like Mrs. Juan, Mrs. Locaria, Mr. Cermak, and Mrs. Odo. We have been able to create the talent show and see so many things implemented in the school and watch it grow as we grew with it. We were able to experience Zoom classes and a whole pandemic with all of you. Through the years, clearly so much has changed. We've gained lifelong friendships with all of you. We think that's what really makes this school such an amazing place. Not that you can do everything from home and not the small class sizes, it's the teachers. Uh, I didn't know this, but a couple years ago, Ms. Locaria told me that the teachers at Choices don't get assigned to this school. They choose this school. They come here with the attitude that they want to help people learn on a personal level and then get to help us each. All of these teachers here today could have been anything or done anything with their lives, but they chose teaching. And then again, you could have gone to a public school that probably would have paid better, but you chose choices. So, choices teachers, thank you immensely because of all the things you could have chosen, you chose to help us and get us through an extremely hard time in our lives. You guys over these seven, and four, years have impacted us myelinators a lot, each of you having different strengths and using them to benefit us. Mr. Brown never failed to make us smile, make us laugh, so when we had a bad day, we would just go and sit in his room and listen to his wise words. <laughs> Mrs. Cermak, we would not have gotten through choices without you, helping us every step of the way. You too, Miss Smith. We thank you both for helping us students handle life in schooling. Ms. Drow, four girls, I don't know where Ms. Drow is. There's <laughs> Ms. Drow, four girls came to you with the impossible idea to start a talent show. And because you trusted in us and have believed in us, we were able to held six talent shows. And unfortunately, not this year, but we got to do it. So thank you for believing in us when literally no one else did. Ms. Summers and Ms. Hannon, thank you for setting a good example of what an amazing friendship should look like and inspiring us to be quirky and to never give up when we're down. We now know that we can always recover from anything. Mrs. Locaria and Mrs. Juan, thank you for making history exciting. <clears throat> Your love for the subject <laughs> and love for the teaching really shows and it's made it really fun to learn. And Ms. Swan, you probably pushed us the hardest and gave us the most homework of all. But we appreciate the challenge you gave us. You turned us into pro procrastinators, but also very hard workers. Thank you for always pushing us. Ms. Antos, we hated math, but now it's our favorite subject. And thank you for always allowing us to come and talk about life with you. It was highly appreciated. And Mr. Cermak probably taught us the most important lesson we've learned here at Choices. Don't let school get in the way of your education. There are so many more teachers that we have been unable to be taught by, but have always welcomed us with smiling faces and always check to see how we're doing. So Choices teachers, thank you so much for making this school different, making our lives better, and helping us get through this period of our lives where our brains are still myelinating or still growing and coming together. Another important lesson learned from Mr. Cermak. So Mr. Cermak, us myelinators, we are, we are filled with talent. We are capable of accomplishing anything when we try hard. We have become the best version of us that we can be. We are feeling super fantastic and awesome and getting better as we graduate today. Thank you and all the choices, staff and teachers, for helping us feel this way.
I really appreciate how accommodating the teachers have been, given that there's so much to adapt to. They've been working so hard to make sure that the rest of the school year could run as smoothly as possible. They've been keeping in contact with the students, making sure we're okay, checking in on us. I really appreciate it. AP tests went so smoothly thanks to them, and they've been keeping in close contact with all the seniors that for graduation we could still get close to what we want. I really appreciate it, and I want to say thank you. Hi, Choices staff. I'm Sophia Romine. I would say thank you and I appreciate all of you guys' hard work through these tough times. And I couldn't have asked for a better staff. I've gone to Choices all of middle school, my first year of high school, and I'm now returning as a senior. And I can truly say that there is no other school staff that cares for the students as much as Choices. I think one big example of that is how we're still having a graduation ceremony this year. A lot of schools in this area aren't anymore. So to me, that just proves the dedication of the school staff and of our principal to still make this a special year for us seniors. And I would also like to thank our staff for being so helpful even during this pandemic. We know that you're going through it too, so we're so grateful for your hard work. We love, we love you! I just wanted to say thank you, you guys, so much. You've given me so many cherished memories throughout the years and just been there for me through thick and thin, so thank you. I would like to speak up about Choices Charter School. I would like to say that it's probably one of the greatest things that's happened for me to be able to go to middle school in that school after I just came out of home school. It's a great thing. I hope all the staff is doing well and I can't wait to see all of you guys next year. Peace.